Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and with the quickest, easiest tutorial you have ever seen. Uh, this is the back of my Cordial Corner uh, video planner. That's what we're using as a backdrop because, well, it was right here. Now, do you do the magic circle, the magic ring? Where you do the, the wrap here and you twist here and you go under here and you twist and pull it. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't stop the madness now. There's an easier way. There really is an easier way. Anytime something is called magic, you know there has to be an easier way. So, always... Doing a project in the round, that's where this comes in. Yes, I know my nails are, are bad, my fingers are bad, I have splits in my fingers, but we're going for it today, okay? Start off with a slip knot because that's what you do when you put stuff on your hook. Do your slip knot however you do it. There are lots of ways to do it. This is how I do mine, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, when you have a pattern that says, um, into your magic ring crochet three chain three like, like you're going to be doing double crochets into your quote magic ring right i'm going to chain four one two pardon me it's hard to do through my phone here three and four wow we have a chain of four that's impressive isn't it you want to magic ring it let me show you something spread out that first slip knot, the first chain, the first thing you did. Ooh, look. That first chain has a big old hole in it. Hmm. I think I'll do my double crochets into there. Watch this. Well, that's if I can keep everything on the hook. Like I said, doing things through a phone is not ideal. Again, we'll try to do a double crochet through there. And I find the first row of anything is the toughest because I have a hard time holding on to it. Slide that over. Hmm, let's do another one. Yes, I know I split my yarn there. We will get over it, I'm sure. I also didn't pull from the center on this skein, so that's also a problem, but, you know, that is not for you to have to worry about. And look, that hole is so big. Whatever are we going to do? Well, let's pretend this is all the rounds we were doing in this. Watch this. Pull your tail. It closes right up. Boom. Drop your hook. That's your magic circle. You don't have to fool with all that wrapping around the hand business. Here, I will do it again. Hopefully smoother this time. Matter of fact, let's go from the center pull side so that I'm not so doofy. Ta-da! More yarn. It's pink, y'all. Deal with the pink, okay? I'm just saying. Let's do a slip knot. That's how I do my slip knots. I wrap it around my finger, do it that way. You do you, boo. Just don't do a double knot because you want this to be able to get big. And I'll just leave mine a little bigger this time so that I remember that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to chain three, two, three, and a fourth one. Because that first chain, that first big loopity loopity thing, that is what we're using as our, quote, magic circle. And I had to show you my air quotes as if that means anything. Okay, let's put another double crochet in that sucker. And another. And another. See, I'm always managing to do that. Good gravy. We'll do this as if we're doing a half circle, which is fine. 
actually, maybe we'll go full, full circle on this one. And I know I hold my yarn funny, but that's okay. Taught myself, didn't teach myself well, <laughs> but it makes it work, it makes it happen. I've made lots of stuff. There are as many ways to crochet as there are people doing it. How many do I even have? Four, five, six, seven, Last one is eight, so we'll go. We're doing full circle. Nine. Ten. Scooch those suckers down. Eleven. Let's use our working yarn and not our tail. Mm -hmm. Twelve. That'll make a good circle, won't it? All right. See this? The so-called magic ring that we made by using our very first chain. Just grab it and slide it and pull it. Ta-da. Look, you get a little cat butt. And I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. That was our first one. If I can find it and not split my yarn all over the place. I've used this portion of yarn a bunch for doing this sort of stuff, so it ends up getting kind of splitty. There. And then when you sew this all together, you kind of just go around that loop using your yarn needle going through fibers and through stitches and you make sure it's pulled nice and tight there's nothing getting through there Aha! again with the boom magic ring sorted done and over see y'all soon bye now